Hi, my name is Colin and I'm originally from Haiti. And my question is, how do I know that the choices I'm making are putting God first in my life? For me, I can tell you that it's motivation. When I am on the right path, I am almost like giddy with motivation. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great, even if it's something hard. So soon after I was baptized, I had a, a choice about leaving my current employment or staying there. And if I left, I was gonna go to BYU. And on paper, I'm an accountant, so I of course did all the ticking <laughs> and tying. And on paper, it made sense that I wouldn't take a new job because um, it was a longer commute, lower pay, more work, <laughs> higher <laughs> risk, <laughs> all the things that you wouldn't do. But as I got closer to making that choice, I felt very unmotivated and uninspired. And I mentioned to my husband, I, I think I need to go to BYU. And he's like, you do? And then as I was talking, I just felt excited. And it's almost as if Heavenly Father was giving me a glimpse of the future if I would act in faith. And so for me, it's that optimism, that motivation that helps me to know this is the path Heavenly Father would have me to take. It says in the Sermon on the Mount that the light of the body is the eye. Mm -hmm. And as you take in that light, you'll be filled with more and more. So I think that unity of vision right. is part of it. I think too in, in chapter six, verse 24, it says this, no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon means material things, okay. right? And then it goes through those concerns we've talked about. Mm -hmm. What am I gonna eat? What am I gonna drink? So to Colin's question, there are times in my life when I'm worried about a lot of things and I feel those worries pulling me. My motivation and focus is very diffuse. I know I'm serving God because it starts to come together again. Okay. I'm serving one master. Mm -hmm. and, and whether that's, I found this purpose, right? I need to serve a mission or whether it's, I don't know, I think of my, my mom, who's always kind of been good at watching out for the needs around her. She teaches Spanish in a school now to kids who have a lot going on in their lives. And her eye is really single to the kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. And when she's anchored in that service and serving God, there's a lot of other stuff that just doesn't weigh on her the same way. And so I think she can feel, when she feels that kingdom she's building, she knows she's putting God first. Okay.